guys, I'm Brian Schmidt, and today I wanted to talk to you all about weightlifting belts. Now, if you're a regular gym rat, you've most likely seen or used a weightlifting belt at some point. Some people wear them for their entire workout, while others never wear one at all. In this video, we'll discuss what the different lifting belts do and when you should actually wear it. Now, I'm sure you've seen many bros at the gym who wear a lifting belt for their entire workout, and there's a lot of confusion and misinformation out there as to when you should actually wear it and whether or not wearing it all the time will help you with your form and strength. Now, there are different variations of lifting belts, all of them with the same function. Some are the same width all the way around, some are tapered, and some are Velcro. Some belts use a prong latch and others use a lever to keep it tight. So, which of these is the best? Under most circumstances, a heavy duty leather belt that is the same width all the way around is the best choice. However, we have a tapered belt which does make it a lot easier to get into deadlift position. Honestly, just try out a few different ones just to see what works and feels best for you during your lifting. Now, let's talk about what the purpose is of wearing a belt. Essentially, the belt is going to help you lift more weight. By lifting more weight, you'll get stronger which will allow you to lift more in the future, of course. The use of a belt increases the use of your abs and lower back muscles and allows you to use your own body to support itself. The belt does not provide the support, it is your muscles contracting against the pressure of the belt that creates the stability. This lessens the stress placed on your spine. Now, let's break it down a little bit further. A belt allows you to generate more intra-abdominal pressure by giving you something to press up against when tightening your abs and lower back. Intra-abdominal pressure is generated from within your core, pushing outward and supporting your spine. In order to properly generate the most intra-abdominal pressure, you will be performing the Valsalva maneuver. To start, take a deep, diaphragmatic breath by breathing into your stomach. Next, you will attempt to exhale, however you will not breathe out. You have now increased your intra-abdominal pressure. Grab your lifting belt and wrap it tight around your stomach while holding the Valsalva maneuver. This is a good place to start to ensure the belt will function properly. Some lifters may find that leaving enough space for a flat hand to fit in between the belt and your body to be a better fit. Once you have gotten your belt tightened properly, it is time to execute your lift. Approach the iron, get in position, create intra-abdominal pressure, and lift some heavy ass weight. The belt should only be worn when doing your heavy working sets or attempting a one rep max. There's no need to wear a belt when doing assistance work, especially if your low back is not even being used. Also, you shouldn't allow a lifting belt to take the place of abdominal training and form development. Belts can provide a false sense of security, which can of course lead to injury. If you're just starting to lift, learn how to engage your muscles and the rest of your body to provide you with the support that you need. Learn coordination and work on the stabilization before strapping on a belt. Your body already has its own inner weightlifting belt made from your abdominal muscles and your lower back. If you are already training properly, then you don't necessarily need to use a weightlifting belt at all. If you are lifting heavy, your midsection should already be strong enough to handle that weight. If you have bad form, then a weightlifting belt is not gonna correct that form. Bottom line, think of a lifting belt as one method to increase your performance, not the entire foundation of your workout routine. The goal should be to work out without using the lifting belt the majority of the time. So, with all that being said, I actually prefer not to wear a belt. It is rare that you'll even see me put one on, and those times that I do, I'm most likely maxing out on deadlifts or working on my heavy sets. The majority of my deadlift sets, even some of my heavy ones, I don't wear a belt at all. I structure my training routine around strengthening my abs and my lower back to create my own intra-abdominal pressure without the assistance of these weightlifting accessories to do it for me. So, that's all I got in this video. I hope this is very informational for you all. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you like this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.